Whenever we travel, I take my Air 2S along, but I don't always want to take a laptop to transfer my footage once the SD card fills up. So what I ended up using is an external SSD hard drive, and I connect it directly to the DJI RC controller and download the data onto the hard drive, freeing up the SD card for more footage. Here's a short video showing how I do it. Hey, welcome back everyone, it's Joe from Ghost1917. So you've taken all this great footage during your last excursion, but now what do you do once your memory card is filled up? Let me start off by saying, there are many ways to accomplish what I'm about to show you. This is just the way I found to be the easiest and most cost effective. It is by no means the quickest way to transfer your footage, but you won't need anything except your drone, your RC controller, and a portable SSD. The fastest and simplest way to transfer footage is still a direct USB-C cable connection from the drone or removing the SD card from the drone. But both of these processes require the use of a PC. This process requires only the use of the DJI RC. I demonstrate using my Air 2S, but the process is the same for any DJI drone. There are four places you can store footage. Two on your drone and two on your RC controller. The Air 2S can store up to 7.2 gigs on its internal memory and up to 256 gigs on a removable SD card. The RC controller can store up to 8 gigs on its internal memory and up to 512 gigs on an external SD card, which seems like a lot, but you'd be surprised how quickly it fills up. I initially toyed with the idea of using extra SD cards and just swapping them out as I filled them up, but ultimately the SSD seemed to be the better and more cost-effective choice. I use a Samsung T7 1TB SSD, the same kind of SSD I use to edit all of my drone footage. I'll put a link in the description below to the hard drive. These hard drives are super fast and are small and light enough that they take up very little space in my drone backpack, making them a perfect choice for travel. Once you set up the hard drive for the first time, the process for transferring your footage is pretty straightforward. The first thing we need to do is to connect the SSD to the RC controller. You do this by plugging the USB-C from the hard drive into the host USB-C port, not the USB-C port we use for charging or transferring footage to a PC. It's the USB-C port hidden under the gray flap marked Host Micro SD, located at the bottom of the RC controller. Next, pull down on the screen from the upper right corner, then look on the left side. This is where you'll see the external drive listed. You may get a not supported message, which means you'll have to format your SSD to make it compatible with the Android operating system on your RC. You'll only need to do this one time during your initial setup. Simply click Format USB Drive and you should be good to go. Now that you've formatted your external SSD, it's a simple two-step process. Step one, download the footage from the drone to the RC. Step two, transfer the download to the external SSD. The RC file system is the standard Android operating system and fairly straightforward. Just pull down the upper right corner of the screen to access the operating system. The SSD will be listed on the left side. Just click on Explore. If you don't see Explore, click on the little down arrow to show the Explore option. Clicking on this will take you into the files. Click on the three horizontal lines in the upper left corner. Then scroll down and you'll see Android. This is the external memory card you have installed in your RC. And directly below this, you will see your external SSD. Now, to get to your drone's external storage, where your precious footage is, say that three times, with your drone powered on, click on the left facing arrow in the upper left corner of the screen. Now click on the album icon in the lower left bottom of the screen. Your drone should be highlighted. If it's not, just click on it. You should now be seeing all of your footage. The clips with the download symbol in the upper left corner are those clips which have not been downloaded. Click on the checkbox in the upper right corner and select the clips you want to download to your RC. Then click on the download icon in the lower right corner. Then wait for the downloads to complete. Once the downloads have completed, click on saved. 
This is the external SD card you have inserted in your RC controller, and your clips should now appear here. Now go back out to the external SSD by pulling down on the upper right side of the screen. Again, click on Explore, then click on the three horizontal lines. Click on Android, then DCIM, then DJI Album. This is where you say videos are located. Now, long press on the clip or clips you want to transfer to your SSD, or click on the three vertical dots in the upper right hand corner and select all. Now again, click on the three dots and choose Move To. Then click on the three horizontal lines and choose your SSD. In my case, it's the T7. Now you can either transfer them to the SSD root directory, or you can click on the three vertical dots and choose Create a New Folder. I'll choose Create a New Folder and I'll call mine Smoke Picks. Then click on the Move button in the lower right corner, and that's it. Wait for your clips to transfer, and then you can delete them from your drone. If you choose Move as opposed to Copy, you won't need to delete them from your RC, as they no longer reside on the RC external memory. Now your drone's memory card is clear and ready for some more great footage. As always, I'd love to hear from you. Let me know in the comment section below how you handle storing your footage when traveling, or if you have any questions about connecting the SSD to your RC. And while you're down there, make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons, and hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on future videos. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.